This is a standard Audi RS7. Pretty nice sedan. And this over here is also an RS7, but it's special. It's got a name, Bobby. That's because it's autonomously driven, piloted driving. We're here at a racetrack in central Germany, and we're going to do man versus machine. And I'm going to see whether or not I can beat Bobby on some hot laps. And we goose it. You feel that burn? You feel that burn, Bobby? I think I'm pulling some G's right there. Of course, computers don't feel G-forces, so they may not, that may be my advantage. The question is, am I going to be making up more time on the straightaway or the turns? What I come in at? Now let's see what Bobby's got. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, it's a pretty fast start. Ah, I didn't make that mistake. It just slowed down. Why did it take that turn like that? <laughs> Now, tell me, does it know the track? Yes. And so this has been programmed to learn this track. Yeah, actually, we give the, the map to the car, and the map just contains the left and the right boundary of the track. And then the car starts to think about it and uh, generates, basically, its optimal line. If you lose control, then we want to have a automatic system that helps you to regain the control and keep the car on the track. Do you spend a lot of time on racetracks? No! No! I'm a financial journalist. I have, no, <laughs> I have no business being on a racetrack. My only hope, really, is that I was unsafe. And that this car stayed within the sort of safety envelope and that, uh, you know, I pushed the envelope. Because I've got the right stuff. Now the moment of truth. See how well I did? Yes, yeah, you're official. No! Time. So... That's you did a pretty fast two minute eight <laughs> seconds, but I got to disappoint you. Bobby was five seconds faster. He did a two minute and three uh, seconds. There's only one way to beat the machine, more practice. I've got five seconds to shave off. Okay.